Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, I will going to showcase what is a deployment model when you are deploying application to Cloud Up 2.0. So, in my previous video, we have already seen how you can deploy the application to Cloud Up 2.0 and how you can enable a last mile security on your application. Now, we will focus on a deployment model. So generally when you deploy the application on Cloud Up 2.0, it supports two deployment model. One is rolling update and other is recreate. So let me show that option. So if you go uh, into the application deployment console, here you can see something called deployment model. Within deployment model, you have a two option rolling update and recreate. So what does this mean? So when you select a rolling update while deploying or while de redeploying your application, it will ensure a zero downtime deployment. Means till the new application deployment doesn't end or doesn't over, it will keep it will keep the old instance of your application and consumer can access that old instance of the application. Once the new application is been created, the old instance will be removed and the request will come to the new instance. So that is how we can do the zero downtime deployment. In case of recreate, what will happen? So in case of recreate, we cannot achieve a zero downtime update. So when you are redeploying or deploying your application uh, using deployment model recreate, your application will be unavailable. It will be not reachable till the deployment get completed. So let me showcase with this particular demonstration. So Right now, I will going to select a deployment model as a rolling update. So let me upload a file again and let me do the redeployment. So I will select the jar file, right? And I will just say apply changes. And let me browse the URL. So this is my URL. And I have to give a full path. So I can say API slash orders. So my application is still reachable and you can see like no. So let's see the deployment is not started. Now deployment is started. The first one is successful. Let's wait while deployment gets started. Now it got started. So in this case, your application should up and running. Like let me just refresh the application and reload it. So you can see the application is still running. Okay, so you can see the application is still up and running, right? And your deployment is still in progress, but you can see the application is still up and running. So you are getting this response from the older instance of your API. Because it will not going to remove your older instance till a new instance of your API get deployed. Now, you can see the application has been successfully deployed and you will see like you know you are getting the proper response now so what we have seen it's a zero downtime deployment when you select a deployment model as a rolling update you can do a deployment as a zero downtime updates let me select a second option recreate and let me just choose a file again https and let me click on apply changes So let's wait uh, till it's uploading a jar file and it will try to redeploy and then we will see whether the application is accessible or not accessible. So you can see it's it's still not started. I want to see, you know, uh, it start. Yeah, now you can see it become red, but you no, know, you will see your application will not respond most probably. Yeah, you can see you are not getting the response. So in case of recreate, you can not achieve a zero downtime updates. So why we go with a recreate basically uh, uh, deployment model. So let's consider if you deployed some application and like that application has some error or like, you know, on the back end, it, it doing some wrong updation or something like that. And you want to ensure that like new request doesn't uh, come through that particular application and you want to create a new instance of that application. So in that case, you can go with the recreate basically. So the recreate still it's in like, you know, uh, it's not started. So let's wait while still it's in red. So in recreate, it will delete the uh, 
an older instance and it will try to create a new instance basically as simple as that let's wait now it's i think it's successfully deployed now we should get a response proper response yeah we got the proper response so that is the a big difference between a rolling update and the recreate so i have showcased with you some live demonstration like how you can uh, make use of deployment model or how you can choose the deployment model deployment model it's depending on your requirement there might be some requirement like uh, like you have deployed some application uh, with some uh, like some error right and you want to ensure that like i want to uh, stop that application as soon as possible you know so in that case you basically always choose a recreate option that recreate option will delete that application and try to create a new application in case of rolling update your older instance is keep running till the new instance doesn't get deployed once new instance get deployed the older instance will be easily removed basically right so this is what a difference between a rolling update and recreate i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching